So we are going to create animated border and we are going to create two types of animated border. So you can see this one is the linear gradient border and this one is the orbiting or rotating animated border. To give you a difference between what they are actually doing, if I go in here and then let's say remove the coloring, you could see what's actually happening in the background. It is making the color going from right to left and in this one, if I choose this and let's disable it, you could see what's happening in the background. The gradient is moving like this and it's pretty easy to make so let me explain to you guys so let me just open my tutorial page uh, just ignore all this these are new tutorials that i'm going to make uh, i'll create like a temporary page or oh, sorry temporary section so whichever container that you want to have the effect all you simply need to do is let me just create like a basic first so that i can explain it pretty faster so let's say this is the container that you want to add the border. So all you need to simply go is go into my website and then click on the whichever one that you want. And the way you make both of these are different. So we are first going to try animated linear gradient. So let's go and copy it. And I'm simply going to go in this container, go in advance and then paste it. And you could see nothing's happening because we need to copy this without the dot. So DM linear gradient border without the dot, copy it in your CSS class. And you could see that it's working, but sometimes it might not work in case, let's say, if I add, a, let's say, if I add a color in here first. So let's see if I add like a white color and then if I go in my background and then I add a color, it might not work. So you could see that suddenly the image is not visible. And the reason it's happening is quite hard to explain. I also don't understand it, but I know how to fix it. Is simply choose the container, which is like the main container like this. Go into your custom CSS in the selector type. Uh, well, before that, let's say if I do Z index around here, let's say one, two, five, three, or anything else, it would not work, which is why we are going to use the custom CSS panel. Also, if you don't have Elementor Pro and if you don't have the custom CSS option available for you, then you will need to get Elementor Pro and that the link of it is in the description. And that way you could support me by using the link in description. So just go in here, type C in, Z index 1 and then you could say it works. It doesn't have to be 1, it, it can be with any Z index that you wish to have except minus 1. So because in this one we are actually using for this border, we are using a minus 1 Z index around here. You could see so that it gets behind this container. So let me explain to you how this code works first. Okay. Now the best thing is this, this is like, well, it works for any type of container, any size of container. So no issues with like the size and all. So let me explain to you one thing. Okay. So I've created two global, uh, global elements like this so that we can simply change the uh, width with however we want easily in one click. So right now this is 20 pixels up, uh, like up and down and 20 pixels for left, 20 pixels on right. So if I change, let's say, change the height to 50 you could see it changes to like much more bigger and if i change this to let's say again 50 it changes to like that size which is just changing this 20 pixel to however size you want now we are simply using after pseudo element for this one after pseudo class so that we can create this gradient element and then paste it behind it we add like the content, we add position absolute and then we choose our height. So for height, we are saying that to uh, use this much. So this much should be the height, which is like 100% plus 20 pixels. So by default, it will use this 100%, which is the white container plus 20 pixels up and down. Same with width, it should use like uh, this one. So 100% plus 20 pixel left and right. Then we are using top and left so that we are going to place this, uh, what you call, this gradient and at the center because we are using position absolute. So how does this work? So I'll quickly explain to you in case you want to use this method for like any other thing that you make. So I added a container inside of this one. Let's say I add an image inside of this. Okay, I added an image. I'll use a uh, I'll choose like a random image, make it let's say 300 by 300. Now I know that this image is like 300 by 300, right? And if I change this to position absolute like this, and let's give the container a color so that we can visualize it better like this. 
So right now I gave this one like position absolute. It is set to left zero and top zero. You could see if I wanted to go there, it, I can do that. And I wanted to place in the middle. Now there are two ways to do it. One is like removing this completely. And then in this one, we go here and then choose this thing. But the issue with choosing this thing is that it applies to every single element. So it's not like the right way to do it. So what we are going to do is, we, we know this is like 300 pixels, right? So I'll just choose this one, this pen icon. I'll type calculate 50% and close the bracket. And you could see what's happening. It is choosing the 50% of this container and then starting our uh, image from this side. So you could see this is 50%. And this is 50%. But we do, this is not in the center. So all, what we can do is we can simply say that uh, minus 150 pixels because that is 300 pixels, half of 300 pixels. If I let's say type 300 pixels, it will make it go 300 pixels to the right, uh, sorry, to the left. Or And we can simply do is divide by 2. So 300 pixels divided by 2 is 150 pixels. And now it is in the center. And we can simply copy this around here. And paste it and now you could see that it is being in the middle and we can simply just type 150 pixels instead of typing 300 pixels by 2 like this you can see that now it is in the center so this is basically what i have added around here which is like it calculates 100 percent so whatever size of this container is it minuses r this content divided by 2 so we are basically doing the same thing we are just doing is we are minusing it 100% uh, minus half of the size of uh, whatever size we have chosen here so that the background of this one places in the middle. So like top and left. Next is our background linear gradient. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 colors that I have used. If you want to add your personal colors, you could choose it very easily. Then the background size is 200%. We are making it 200% so that we can animate it. Then we got our animation, animate border, 2 second, infinite linear. So basically we are saying that the animation should run for 2 seconds. If I make it to 1 second, the animation would be fast. If I make this to 5 seconds, the animation would be slow. So let me do that to show you. You could see the 1 second makes it too much fast. If I do 0.5, it's super fast. And if I do like 5 seconds or like 10 seconds, it's like very, very slow. So that's one thing that you have to do. And this one is basically just the animation. So that it, this is the animation which is uh, doing here, animate border. So this is how we add our linear gradient. Now for our, uh, what you call the rotating one, it's a bit different. So let me just delete this completely. And make sure this one also has selector z index one like this the main one let's add our container again new one which one whichever one you want it to be like having that rotating effect this is our container which would have the rotating effect so i'll go here and copy my container go into advance and then copy it and then choose the css class which i've used here and paste it in my css class and you can see that it is working but now it's just going everywhere so what we simply need to do is select this container, go into my add uh, sorry layout additional option and choose overflow hidden, and that way anything outside this container will be hidden. And you can see we already got the effect here. And all we simply need to do is add a container inside of this, uh, make this like full size like this. You could select grow, and what grow does it does is it basically makes it like stretch it to the parent container. So right now you could see this is this much, but if I choose grow, it will automatically stretch it to the parent container. And in this one, we can choose how much border we want. So if we want five border, we will add five padding. If we want 10 border, we will add 10 padding. If we want like 50 border, we will add 50 padding. So that's how simple it is to add a border with this one. So let me explain to you how this code works so that you could customize it. Now the way you don't need to worry about gradient height in this one. What I've done is I made it like 10,000 pixel by 10,000 pixel. Basically a very huge square which has that gradient effect. And everything else is simple. Everything else is same except the background which is instead of linear gradient I'm using conic gradient. This one you could see and having the colors and, and simply doing is rotating it completely. So I'm making the whatever the uh, the gradient is i'm just rotating it 360 degree and which is why it's just showing this uh, animation you could see 
So nothing's crazy in this one. Just change the color that you want to anything that you want. Background size, background clip. I don't think we need background clip. Yep, we don't need background clip. It is there for some reason, but again, it's really not needed. So pretty easy to do. You could just go to my website, try this. There are lots more tutorial to come. So make sure you like and subscribe this video so that you could share it. More people can watch it and I earn like lots of money. Yeah. Thanks for watching.